Today our study will be over subtracting decimals. If you watched the previous lesson over adding decimal, you are aware that 200 whole number can be written with decimals point behind it and placeholders behind that decimal point. So, you need, so 200. This is going to the hundredths place. So I mean I will need two placeholders here, since this is in the hundredths place, minus 43 and 52 hundredths. Oh, tons and tons of regrouping here, because can you take away a 2 from the 0? No, you got to regroup, 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 regroup. The 2 becomes a 1. This was a 10, it becomes a 9. This was a 10, it becomes a 9. This was a 10, it becomes a 9. So you're going to take that 10 ones and put it right here. So what is 10 minus 2? 8. 9 minus 5? 4. 9 minus 3? 6. 9 minus 4? 5 and 1. So the difference between 200 whole number and 43 and 52 hundredths is 156 and 48 hundredths. There's a shortcut. I know a lot of kids like shortcuts. So, let's take away a penny from both of these. Since this is in a hundredths place, we need to take one hundredths away from it. So, $200, if you take away a penny or a hundred, one hundredths from it, it'll be $199.99 hundredths. Minus 43 and 51 hundredths. 9 minus 1 is 8. 9 minus 5 is 4, 9 minus 3 is 6, 9 minus 4 is 5, 1. Hey, equivalent answers. So in the shortcut, you look at what the last place value, hundredths place. You take away one, one of them from it. So one hundredths from this is 51. One hundredths from 200 is 199 and 99 hundredths. Let's try the next example. We have 52 whole number, but it's in the... The, this one says tenths place, so we need to add one place value, minus two and nine tenths. Oh, goodness. Time to regroup again. So can you take away nine from the zero? Nope. Got to regroup. This two becomes a one. This becomes a ten. Ten minus nine is one. Yeah. Ooh, can you take away two from this one? Got to regroup. Five becomes a four. And then you're taking away 100, so you're putting it here, and that becomes 11 tens. So 11 minus 2 is 9, and bring down to 4. So the difference is 49 and 1 tenths. What about those who like shortcuts? So what place value this is in? This is in the tenths place, so I need to take away one of them. So if I take away 1 tenths from it, that'll be two and eight tenths. If I take away one tenths from this, it'll be 51 and nine tenths. Nine minus eight is one. Oh, got to regroup. So this becomes a four, this becomes a 11, 49 and one tenths. Shortcuts, I'll be honest, is better when you have nothing but zeros. If you have a lot of zeros, I would use a shortcut. This only had one zero. No point in doing a shortcut. And the last example is 100 is a whole number. As you can tell, this has um, it's in the tenths place, so we need one placeholder. Minus 27 and 6 tenths. Can you take away 6 from this? Nope. Got to regroup. Regroup, 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 and this becomes a zero. This 10 becomes a 9. This 10 becomes a 9. And you're taking... Uh, 10 ones, I'm putting it here. So 10 minus 6 is 4, 9 minus 7 is 2, 9 minus 2 is 7. So the, the difference between 100 and 27 and 6 tenths is 72 and 4 tenths. So those who like the shortcut. So this is in the um, line zeros here. So I must, let's do a shortcut. So let's take away, this is in tenths place, let's take away one of them from one tenth. So it'll be 27 and 5 tenths. If I take away 1 tenth from this, there'll be 99 and 9 tenths. 9 minus 5 is 4. 9 minus 7 is 2. 9 minus 2 is 7. Equivalent answer. 
So I would only use the shortcut if you have a, like, I guess, uh, three zeros or four zeros. So this is the study of subtracting decimals.